was surprised when a crowd of nearly 100 people met him at the airport Tuesday night. Cody and Master Sergeant Monica Wilder were deployed for over six months to a location in Southwest Asia, but they can't say exactly where. I, I, I don't know if we can say. I, don't, I think it's uh, undisclosed. Wilder says her deployment job was fast-paced. So I worked for the, uh, the comm squadron and I was knowledge management, which was a career I had um, gone to tech school for. While Master Sergeant Cody is heading home to a wife and kids, Got it. Wilder's immediate family in Klamath Falls is her three dogs, Hobbs, Charlie, and Watson. I miss them quite a bit, I, especially in the first few months. And then I started getting used to it, but um, I thought about them the whole time, and I really did miss them. Just a short time later, Monica and her fur babies had a happy reunion. They need a lot of love from me, so I'm happy, and I'm sure they're happy too. In Klamath Falls, Lyle Ahrens, NBC2 News. Here at Bicker Dyke Elementary School in Russell, Kansas, one fifth grader is about to get a very big surprise. It was a surprise weeks in the making. My whole intention was to surprise the whole family, but then I figured I couldn't get a ride from Hay, so I had to let my wife in on it. And uh, so she came out and said, well, that's just a surprise our youngest one. So while his fifth grade daughter, Emma, took a water fountain break, Sergeant Schroeder snuck in and anxiously sat at her desk, waiting. What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just came in school, sat and started learning stuff, I guess. When I came back in, and I saw him and all that, and I started crying. Sergeant Warren Schroeder is part of the National Guard and left for Iraq this past October. His deployment is for an entire year, but he was able to take a two-week leave. It's hard to put into words, and we don't get a call home every day. Or, but, it, I mean, the media's gotten a lot better where we have, you know, email and stuff, so it's a lot easier to communicate, but it's still not the same as being here. Being here and having some lunch sharing stories and cinnamon rolls, and enjoying some much-needed family time. Sergeant Schroeder will only be home for two weeks, and it's back to Iraq and work. He hopes to be home in late October. In Russell, Enrique Ramirez, Cake News. Which one's What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Well, hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Surprise? Didn't know I was coming home, did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad I got a good reaction. Some spot him out there. I don't see him yet. See, that's my little boy who is just like him. I know. I get that mixed up too. Because, like I said, they've, my Alex and Jason had a few bit later to his birthday party. Oh, yeah, he's over there on the bench. <laughs> he's on the ground, straight back up there. Hi. Okay. 
So, hi. I just, hi, I just need to explain to you guys. Whatever is in this hey. is your present. There's nothing else. So if you don't like it, I'm really sorry. But I have a feeling you're really going to like it. Look how nice that's wrapped. <laughs> I got kicked out. It's for Christmas, guys. I was sitting, paper. I was sitting on the trampoline, and I got kissed in the face, so my lips are bleeding. Oh, that's well, a big bummer. Well, it's just a little bit. Did you have a good time, though, besides that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, then let's focus on the good. Can we unwrap it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, come in and unwrap your just present. Just what I can. Oh, your two things that you left there, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta stand up here see your faces. Okay. Well, there's there's a there's a door so you guys can see it. Oh, oh Jaden, yeah. wait, wait, wait for Jaden. Jaden, get over there. She opened the door. Right here. Oh, Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Don't forget to bang it out. Oh my God! I knew it was you. I was saying that in the car. Oh God! Hey guys. Hey to see ya. Have you said it was coming late at night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what do you guys think of your present? Oh. You like it? Is that a good present? Yeah. He's fine. He just missed his daddy. Oh. Okay. I'll like it. I'll like it. No. It's like, it's like you. Jane, is that a good present, honey? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Oh. They miss you up. <laughs> oh, daddy, I think you have a present. No. I'm your present. <laughs> My name is Destiny Jory with the uh, Louisiana National Guard. I'm from Paradise, Louisiana. And I am going to surprise my two kids, Dominic and Desiree, and my brother, Jonathan Jory, on my welcoming home. How long have you been going? Nine months. He's right there. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think you have a visitor coming in the door. Smiling picture too. Come on now. <laughs> All right, turn around. Let's see a smiling face for a second, Danielle. She says, "Oh my gosh, you shocked me." <laughs> you know your mama likes surprises. All right, that's probably good, Susie. You can press stop. Oh, I don't know how to stop. There was no containing this crowd, the excitement, anticipation. It's an overwhelming feeling Amanda has felt several times. Oh, exciting. Exciting because he's coming home and... Nine months ago, she said goodbye to her husband, Staff Sergeant Gus Gonzalez. See him leave? That is the hardest. It was his third deployment. And while her family has learned to deal with the time away, it doesn't make it easier. They leave, it's like a piece of that little like joy kind of leaving. But today, their missing piece has come home. And as the soldiers of the 162nd Air Defense Artillery began walking their way, yeah! it took everything they had not to rush the field. It's like, like that moment of anxiety and like adrenaline. And with a quick dismissal, they took off searching frantically as families around them crashed into each other's arms. And then they spot their soldier. But it's like you pinch yourself and it's real. It was this moment that stuck with Gus throughout his deployment. And that's what, what get me going. But taking a step back from their own emotional reunion, she let her husband go to hand out these lays and welcome home the soldiers who didn't have families in the crowd. 
So they feel some love from everyone, you know. She just wanted to make sure every soldier in the unit got the homecoming they deserve. On Fort Hood, Tiffany Pelt, KCEN HD News.